My name is Richard Conroy. I'm a program director at NIBIB. The problem Rebecca Richards Corden is trying to address is how to non invasively characterize and diagnose precancerous and cancerous cells. We have developed a battery powered, low cost fiber optic microscope that allows the user to place the fiber probe on tissue and image the cells with subcellular resolution. And what it allows you to do is to identify precancerous lesions at the earliest stage when they are most amenable to inexpensive treatment. The biggest challenge in developing this microscope was to um, get the technology into a package that was sufficiently portable and robust and battery powered to um, be able to be used in settings that might lack wall power and other necessary infrastructure. I had the opportunity to visit a, an HIV clinic in Swaziland a couple of years ago. And um, the wall of the clinic had all these health posters attached to it. And one of the posters was um, designed to inform HIV positive women about the risk of cervical cancer and the importance of cervical cancer screening. And so these women who are at risk, they're seeing educational materials. So I asked the nurse at the clinic, how many pap smears do you do here to screen for cervical cancer? And the answer was zero, because they don't have the infrastructure in place to support taking the smears and analyzing the smears and, and reading the smears, and then um, you know, helping women who are at risk by treating them early. And instead, what happens is you know, women go undetected until very late stages. So uh, with, with this technology, you can take this microscope and you can touch it right onto the suspicious area and right at the point of care, you can have a diagnosis with confidence that it is an accurate diagnosis and enable immediate outpatient therapy.